Hello, Libra. How the heck are you? Okay, Libra, um, what I got for you is you have a major choice coming up. And depending on what you choose, choose carefully, choose wisely, take your time. Do not rush this. We're not taking all that. I did see the water element card. You are going to be in your feels. You need to control your emotions here because you're going to want to rush into something. And I'm saying do not, do not anyone let one let anyone push you into anything. Do not take action on anything. Think very carefully. Weigh up your options. Be patient. Be and the water element came back out. That's funny. If it's supposed to come out, it comes out, right, guys? Yep, yep, yep. You're going to be making a choice. You're going to be making a choice. You're going to be torn in your emotions because it has to do with probably love, um, probably something that you've been wanting a long time. But let me tell you, if this is like an ex coming back, you need to think carefully, whatever this is. And I keep seeing the bliss card. Ooh, King Arthur came out with loss. Mm, this is something that you have suffered a loss in the past with. And it looks like it's coming back around. And the message that I got for you earlier was allowing them their karma. Do not try and save anyone, right? You know how karma works. You are Libra. You are ruled by karma. You do not rule karma. No, no, no. That's not what I'm saying. I am saying you are ruled by karma. Anything you do is going to come back to you. Okay? Libra cannot escape karma. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So what happens, Libra, if you try and get in the way of someone's growing, of someone's growth, of someone's karma. Now we know that karma can come at us in one of two ways, what we call negative or we call positive. All karma is, is the end result of your actions, right? So if you try and save someone from their own actions, what happens to you? Oh yeah, hell yeah. Look at Alpha Draconis, corrupt, unethical, and cults. Along with water element, reflection, kindness, and compassion. So there's a situation that definitely was corrupt. It was unethical. And it's up to you this week to decide King Arthur and loss. Do you take the loss and thereby taking the win? Because the situation is corrupt. Grace and gratitude through joy. Gratitude expand through gratitude. Joy expands. Now, is this you given the opportunity to give someone their comeuppance? Careful. You are not karma. Infinite abundance. Abundance is pouring into your life. Or is this you given the opportunity to have compassion for another and simply walk away? I don't know. You're going to get abundance because of this loss. But what are you going to do now? The warrior, number two, and the high priestess of fire, number five. I really couldn't tell you what this is about. It is a general reading. Oh, guys, if you would please hit that like button. It is greatly appreciated. Let Raton feel some love. Yes. Are you worth a like? Are you worth a like, baby? Yes, you are. Look. Six of Wands, victory. You have the victory. Are you going, if this is the case where you can rub it in someone's face, is that really something that is ethical? Does that stand up to your morals? 
Three of Cups, reunion, happiness, joy. You have a reunion with someone. Eight of Wands, communication. Someone is wanting a reunion with you. It looks Page of Pentacles. They want to begin something. Now, are you going to rub it in their face? Are you going to be kind and compassionate? Are you going to say, I played, this was my role in what happened. He lied, he cheated, he stole, he did this, he did that. Okay, granted. Let's say that it was a family member or a lover or, or work, right? Are you, are you? Are, are you going to say you saw no red flags? Let's be honest, Libra. You know I do not pull punches. And I'm not blaming anything on you. What I am saying is that there were red flags. And it's time for you to stand up and say, that part was my responsibility. I believed them because I wanted to believe them. In hindsight, yeah, I see everything. I see everything clearly. So now are you going to be kind and gentle and compassionate? Or are you going to replay the past? Are you going to repeat? Are you going to make continue to make mistakes? We all make mistakes. But what you choose, five of swords, is this the energy you're going to choose? No matter what, you have victory. Eight of Cups. Or do you walk away? King of Cups. With your emotions in check. Hierophant. Spirit's watching. Universe is watching. Especially in this deck, this card to me, is spirit six of pentacles where is the imbalance there is an imbalance here two of wands picking a new path choosing a new way of doing things you're being led to this path it's up to you to go down it is this what you were dealing with the magician With the lovers on the bottom, wow, temperance, were you dealing with someone that could make, that could create their own narrative and make theme, things seem a certain way and you bought it? Is that what this is? Or was this you? I don't know. General reading. Either way, hold on. Either way, there's an illusion here. That lover, the male figure on the lover card, he's see-through. Okay, let's clarify. <coughs> you can absolutely hear someone out. You can hear out another side nothing wrong with that but i'm 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 asking you right now do not make any choice at the moment do not make any choice from a place from emotion five of swords eight of cups you've learned all you needed to learn here but what are you going to do what are you going to choose to do someone is manifesting a coming together and you absolutely can come together. But what are you going to do then? Two of Wands, King of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, Five of Wands, Knight of Cups, Three of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, One, Two, Three. All right, we'll look at those also. So the victory, again, this victory that you're going to have no matter what is going to lead you to a choice. 
Do you take the new path? You're coming. This is your background. Loss. Okay. You did lose something. But now you have a new choice. King of Cups. Three of Cups. Is this a water sign? Is this someone coming in that say I, that says I've grown? I was wrong. Eight of Wands with the Seven of Pentacles. You've been waiting on this. This is something you have been waiting on. Page of Pentacles with the Two of Pentacles. Things now seem to be stable and balanced. But is that rabbit, that rabbit really reminds me of a trick. Is this a real offer? I don't know. Five of swords with the eight of swords, but you're caught up in your head over it. Whatever situation you are caught up in your head over, something that has hurt you, take it slow. Take it slow. Eight of Cups with the Five of Wands. Walking away from any Five of Swords activity. Any harsh words, judgments, anything like that will move you forward. King of Cups with the Knight of Cups. Offers coming in. You looking into a situation from a clear mind. From an emotionally stable, balanced place. Hierophant with the Three of Wands. Spirit is asking you to hold up and do not make a choice. This Three of Wands, she's blocked. And I already expressed to you that the Hierophant is Spirit. Spirit is asking you to hold on a moment. Six of Pentacles with the Queen of Pentacles. There was an imbalance, and you are doing your best to balance yourself back out now. But that Queen of Pentacles is very resourceful. Two of Wands with the Ten of Cups. What is truly going to give you your happiness? What road Without emotions from the past, no emotions from the past, what road is going to lead you to your Ten of Cups? On the bottom of the deck over here, we had Temperance, Lovers, and Magician. This is all major arcana. This was meant to teach you an extreme lesson. Ace of Pentacles, King of Swords, and the Tower. You, with a new beginning, being very intelligent about your choices, is bringing in a whole new world. Okay? All right. So, hold on. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> We're going to keep going. Ignore the background noise. Stay focused, Libra. Stay focused, okay? All right. Advice card for the spread for Libra, please. Advice card for the spread for Libra. Advice card. There it is. <laughs> Emotions and intellect. Mm -mm -mm. Number 11, 7, 9, 10, 11. Emotions and intellect, love, fear, expression, suppression, head, heart, ease, and dis-ease. Influence of an emotional disharmony. Both love and fear motivate. Is fear the more dominant force? Unvoiced emotions must be expressed. Address unhealthy imbalances. 
Suppressed emotions create dis-ease. Seek a productive means of emotional release. Be proactive and mindful of your emotions. Okay, Libra. I couldn't have summed it up any better. All right, guys, you know I love you. I hope to see you soon. Peace to you. Ciao.